Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a review on the Mima Ziggy Stroller along with the Nuna Pippa Infant Special Edition car seat. Damn, that's a long title. Today's gonna be a part one video of two because right now I'm only using the stroller with the car seat and I'm not using its full potential or full accessories um, of the stroller. So I thought I would do two in one. And when I was doing my shopping and research, I didn't really find a lot of reviews on the stroller itself. I looked at a lot of reviews on retailers like Toys R Us, West Coast Kids, Bye Bye Baby, but nothing on a personal mom level. So I thought I would make one of my own and hopefully this would help you figure out what stroller uh, is best for you or if this one is great for you. So let's get right into the video. So this is the stroller all folded up. And as you can tell, it's really, really compact, which is one of the reasons why I liked it. Since we do live in an apartment and I also have quite a small car with a small trunk, I really wanted something that would fold up and be super compact. So this is what it looks like folded up. And this is what it looks like fully upwards. Here is the front of the stroller. As you can see, it's really, really minimal. This would be considered the bottom of the seat, and this is the strap that it would attach to if you had the full um, stroller seat on, but since we use the car seat, we don't need it. It's pretty futuristic spaceshipy looking which is what I really like. Here you have the adapters for the car seat. So this particular stroller only is compatible with I think four car seats, one of them being Nuna, I think Maxi Cozy, and some other ones. I'll probably make a list on the side here. So I had to be really particular on to what car seat I wanted to use. So they're just like a little button here and you can pull it off and that's pretty much it and you would do that on each side and I just want to stick that back in make sure you hear a click and it's pretty good now to close it you would just pull on this guy and I like to put my finger here I'll actually I use my right hand no wonder that felt weird and super easy I just tug on this and then pull and it just goes down underneath the carriage I am gonna say the undercarriage is quite small like really small so it is really small um, I can fit quite a bit in here a little diaper change bag some extra clothes my jacket when I go grocery I put very small stuff so it is doable but it's not huge like you're not gonna go to the park and bring everything you need and put it under here it does have a little pouch here, which I really like. I always keep an extra shopping bag in there just in case. And it closes quite nicely. So I really do like how compact that is. Then I also include my to-go diaper bag. If you want to see what I include in this, check out my top zero to three months video. I talk about this amazing guy and I've super packed it with a bunch of diapers and extra clothes. So that always stays in there. Then here I have the brake. Super easy. You're going to see my beautiful toes. I just push and it's quite good and release it when I want to keep going. So in addition to the adapters, I also purchased a cup holder. Now one thing that was kind of annoying was that when I purchased the cup holder, I didn't know that you had to purchase, I guess, an attachment to have it attached to the car seat. So for example, when I ordered it, it just came with this and not this product. So be aware that you need to order two things in order to attach a cup holder. So this guy just attached on the side, I'm right-handed, right? And then here, there's a little insert here that I push in and you can move this any way you like. One nice thing about it is if you do have a small car, instead of taking the entire contraption, you can just push on the button back here and release and you can put that into your car. The last feature about this stroller is the handle mechanism. This is its lowest point right now, which is where you would put it to fold it into your car. Then it can go up one 
level and two levels. I'm 5'2", so I usually have it on the first setting, which is not bad. And my boyfriend is six feet tall, I think. So he usually has it at the highest. So it's kind of nice to have those two settings and really nice that it's super easy. It's just a push of a button. And then to put it all the way down, you just push it all the way down. So this is the Nuna Pippa Infant Car Seat. I'm gonna make sure I'm saying all the right words because this is a special edition. And I believe the only reason why it's special is its colorway. I'll just show you kind of the basics. It did come with an infant insert, which was amazing for probably the first three months of Jackson until he grew out of it. And now he's pretty much just sitting in this. Um, I've added some toys here and a little um, teether toy and then I also have this guy to hang if he seems to be bored but I'm gonna remove those and show you all the features of the car seat so I'll start from the bottom here you have the I guess adjustment button to pull on your straps then you have the bottom seat belt and then your two basic straps with shoulder pads I love the color it's super easy to clean it's very minimal, uh, nothing really sticks to it, so I just take a quick little vacuum and vacuum any dust. Then you have the handle. Um, if you press the side button here on both sides, that allows it to go up and down. And these two buttons, which I'll show you also later, allows you to clip it on to the stroller. Now, my favorite feature of this car seat is the sunshade visor. It's kind of funny. I probably realized this a month after I already had it, but here you have your normal, like, normal shade. Then you have this extension here, which is great for when the sun is like really beaming right to, on top of his face. So that's really awesome. And if your little guy is sleeping, it also has a cover that is tucked in here. And then that way he's in the shade. You still have nice access. It's dark. There's some mesh paneling here. And yeah, I think that is really awesome. On the top here, you have your view little pocket here. I don't use this because on the stroller, the car seat is facing me. So I'm always looking at baby. And it's super light until your baby's in it. <laughs> Then when you're done with the visor, it just tucks into this pocket here and you can zip it up. Um, what else? Oh, I'm sure this is on all car seats, but it does have this little blue thing here. The car seat comes with a base that you can put in a car, but you can also have it without the base and strap the seat belt in. So the base is usually in my car and in my boyfriend's car, we just use the seat belt and this is a useful kind of tip for me just to make sure the seat belt is in its correct position this is kind of like a leveler so you're not too far back or too far upwards and you're just right and you, I kind of just use that to guide me um, to make sure the stroller is in correctly now to put the car seat onto the stroller, it's actually super easy. Hopefully I can do it with one hand again, but I just have to clip it or attach the two adapter and the car seat together, which is that circle thing here. So I'm just gonna click that in. Boom. So it just goes into here. And again, this is the button you would push to release it. That's how it looks like. And here is how it looks like on the side. Very easy to install. So things that I like about the stroller and things that I don't like about it. Um, I do love, again, how compact it is, how easy it is for me to fold it up with one hand and throw it in the back of the car. Um, I think it's a great stroller for small living. So apartment size living, small houses, if you don't have the space to have such a big stroller. I've seen strollers that are massive and I'm a pretty small person. So I need something that's gonna be complementing my size. Oh baby cry one second I really liked the stroller for it being super compact and small 
Um, if I were to go back in time knowing what I know, maybe I would get something a little bit bigger of an undercarriage just to so I can carry more. Another feature maybe that I would want, because I do want to have kids a little bit closer in age, it would have been nice to have a stroller that can, a way where you can have the car seat on it and still have a seat in the front. Maybe I know the Uppa Baby has that. I'm sure a lot of other strollers have that feature where you can then carry both kids. Some strollers have that little like um, stand that you can put in front of you while pushing and your older child can stand and kind of coast with you as you're pushing the stroller so maybe that's something I would have considered before just depending on how close your kids are and I do plan to go out a lot and I don't want to be carrying my baby everywhere we go or my toddler or my little child so having a stroller in my head is thinking okay I want to have a stroller so it's convenient for him convenient for her convenient for me convenient for everybody another thing that probably was a bit of a uh, were the added accessories that you had to repurchase the cup holder being one of them but overall I really like the stroller I think it again it's super sleek super my style very compact the car seat I honestly have no issues with it at all it's super easy to attach to the base it's very easy to attach um, into the car with the seat belt um, I can pretty much do it on my own just making sure the straps are on properly and I love all the features that it has so I highly recommend getting an infant car seat I was thinking of purchasing a grow with me car seat and not having the infant car seat but having a baby sleep and then wanting to wake him or her up just to transfer her out into the car into the stroller and then bring her home was just it was gonna be a lot so the big advice that a lot of mummies told me was to get an infant car seat and if you are going to have kids closer in age an infant car seat can last up to seven to ten years so as long as you're using it or having your babies within that expiry date, um, you'll definitely get your money's worth. So thanks so much for tuning in and watching my review. I hope this helps you. I hope this gives you some idea on what strollers to get. And trust me, I did a lot of research, a lot of searching, and I'm pretty happy with what I have. Again, good luck to you new mummies who are looking for a stroller. Please leave me a comment if you love it, you don't like it, you found something else that's bigger, better, smaller, more compact, whatever the case may be. And if you'd like to see more videos, please subscribe. See you later.